Hi everyone. Hello. I'm going to be just doing a quick little review about the new song that Marina just reviewed, just dropped today, uh, called Orange Trees, which is the second official single to have like a music video and everything. Gosh, my nose is so red. Ugh. You don't want to have my nose. Oh my God. Especially in the winter time. I digress. Uh, this song was uh, the second official song to be like released as a single. I know she released the song Superstar a couple weeks ago and I have not talked about that song on this channel and I wasn't actually going to talk about any more songs that she was going to release after Handmade Heaven, a song I did review on this channel, the first single, because the album's only coming out in a month so I was like oh, I'll just wait until then. But you know what? I decided I'll review one more song before the album comes out, just to try and make the actual album review a little quicker so that I don't have to like talk about so much in one video. <sighs> Orange Trees is a song that is all about Marina's Greek heritage. She talks about this island called Lefkada, which is where her family is from, and she has very fond memories of spending plenty of time there as a child, just carefree by the ocean, letting her hair down, being underneath these beautiful fruit trees. Um, there is definitely an infectious summery beach vibe to this song, a Mediterranean quality, I would say, that comes through. It's a subtle song, actually. You know, it's not, it's easy breezy listening, I would say. It's not trying to be a heavy-handed EDM breakdown type song, unlike Superstar, which is much more, you know, edgy and raw and like kind of like trying to be this big moment. Uh, this song is like very soft and light, and it is from, of course, the love section of this record. We're getting all of the love songs ahead of the album release and none of the fear songs, which I don't know, I guess that's intentional. Maybe she wants to say fear as its own package and who knows, we may even get another song before the album comes out on April 26th. So by that point, we'll have heard like almost every single song on the first half of this record. But I'm not complaining, you know, her Fruit album was released incrementally. She released like a song a month at one point. So uh, Orange Trees is definitely a song that I think has growing power. I could see it definitely being a sleeper hit. If anything could be like a hit for Marina from this record, I would love to see that from her. I would love to see some more mainstream exposure. I can see the flowers and the greenery. I take a breath of air. I feel free. Spent so long, was busy chasing happiness when all I needed was a little peace. Important sentiment right there, I think. Stop chasing all of the neon lights. She mentions later on in one of the other verses that she was that she feels so free being so far away from the city and the hustle and bustle of it. A similar sentiment that is carried through in Handmade Heaven as well. So I can see this sort of recurring theme of finding solace in a more peaceful life that is more connected with nature, that is more connected with the simpler things in life and appreciating the sun, appreciating the greenery and the plants. I'm really here for this enlightened nature goddess that Marina is embodying for this record. Carefree, she's having so much fun. The music video dropped today. She looks gorgeous. She looks like she's having the time of her life. I'm really jealous. It's still very much feeling like winter right now at the northern uh, United States. And I am desperate to like get warmer weather and to just like be in like a aquamarine pool and like I don't have those experiences enough in my life. Like I haven't even been in within the tropics yet. I'm not, I know it's crazy. I, I need to travel to warmer places. Like it just hasn't happened. It's quite tragic. I have been to LA. I have been to LA in the middle of December, which was quite something for me. Um, seeing like Christmas trees up and it was like, I was in a t-shirt and shorts and it was like not a cloud in the sky. It was, it was incredible. But I do need to go to like some more, more warmer places and like feel some of that vitamin D, you know, like I need it. Uh, so this song is literally just like that. It's like that vitamin you need to take. It's like that uh, vitamin supplement um, because, you know, it's sweet and it's savory and it's beautiful and it's simple. I, I wouldn't necessarily go so far as saying this song is super memorable in terms of melody or construction. Um, the the bridge is like kind of nice and airy and I feel like a little bit more of this sort of cathartic, cathartic buildup. But then it kind of just goes back into sort of well-trodden territory. So it's not really firing on all cylinders in that department. But I don't know if this song necessarily needs that. I mean, it's a little bit more acoustic in that direction. And it is a lot more like intimate in that it's just trying to be like a fun seaside kind of song. Like it's not something to be played in the clubs. Uh, so I just wanted to give my few thoughts on that track. Um, definitely, I still think Handmade Heaven is the moment so far that we've heard on this record. Uh, but I'm very excited to hear the rest of this album. But I'm also really excited to finally hear some of the darker stuff. 
Um, like there are song titles like Life is Strange. I, I can't wait to hear what that song could be or like Emotional Machine. I'm, I'm kind of really excited to, I'm, you know, I'm a dark, I'm a dark guy. I like to hear some of the darker stuff. We're getting all the positive stuff. Again, very interesting choice. If I were her, I feel like I would want to lead with the darker stuff because the darker stuff is like, like, you know, I don't know, you, you always want to end on a lighter note, right? So it's like, oh, we start with the darker stuff. And it's like very easy to start there and then work your way towards the light. But instead, she's kind of going the opposite direction. So it's like, it's just going to go downhill from here. So anyway, I just, I don't know. I think it's an interesting approach. And in the way that our album is ordered too, like if I were thinking about this album, I would probably put fear first and then do love second. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be brilliant. So I'm very excited. But like I said, I'm not going to review any more Marina songs until the album is released. So just keep that in mind if you're wanting to hear my thoughts on more Marina songs. I'm sure she's going to release at least one more song in the next few weeks before the album. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, this song, our first real summer song, I suppose you could say. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Please give a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks so much. Peace, love, and light. Bye.